Hey guys, Tyler here and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be my second video on the Talaria XXX. If you watched the first one, you saw my unboxing and initial first impressions and you may have noticed that I had some concerns with it. One being that I'm not sure where I can actually ride this thing and not get in trouble. And for me, that's a big thing. I don't want to have any problems with law enforcement. So where I live here in Kern County, the city of Bakersfield, we have basically three law enforcement agencies that, that handle things around here. And I have friends in the Sheriff's Department, I have friends in the Bakersfield Police Department, and I'm not gonna name any names, but in talking to them, uh, it sounded like these kinds of e-bikes or e-motorcycles aren't even on their radar yet. That's not to say that won't change at some point, but what they did say is, Tyler, you better talk with the California Highway Patrol because if anyone's enforcing it, it's them. So today, that's what we're doing. We're talking with Officer Martinez with the Bakersfield substation of the California Highway Patrol. And I am here with him to talk about the Talaria. All right, thank you, sir, for being here. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, so I, I've had a lot of fun on this thing. But my concern is uh, maybe I'm going to get caught with it doing something I'm not supposed to. Mm -hmm. So I think there's a lot of people who have these or want these and they're just not sure, uh, is, it, is it legal? Am I going to get in trouble? Where can I ride it? What kind of e-bike is this? Is this an e-bike? It doesn't even have pedals, although you can add pedals to them. So what are your thoughts? All right, two key things uh, under California law for it to be considered an e-bike. The motor has to be of less than 750 watts okay. and the top speed has to be 28 miles per hour. 28. Okay, so you guys remember in the last video, before I cut that brown wire, sport mode was hitting about 31, so you might be able to get away with that. But as I told you, officer, I cut that brown wire and now this thing, it'll go 52 miles an hour. So if you see me flying by at 52 miles an hour, what are what are your thoughts there? So one is um, it is illegal to uh, tamper with them. If you're okay. going to operate them on, on our public roadways, you, you're not allowed to do that. Okay. And two is just based on the speed because under California law, it's not considered an e-bike anymore. At this point, it just falls into a whole different category. We get into what's called the licensing issue, registration, insurance issues. But most of all, um, they will not be allowed on our public roadways and you can be subject to get it, getting your new bicycle which is not an e-bike under, under california law but get it right. around it sorry about that okay so you said if 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 i'm riding this on a public road mm -hmm. it might get impounded if a cop sees me yeah if we if we observe this and we notice the speed and we stop you and we conduct a little check and we know that you've already been obviously going over 20 miles per hour then yes we cannot impound it because it's not safe to operate on okay. the public roadways and it's not registered no insurance and you am i going to get a license. ticket or yeah at that point you will be cited and also i think the biggest most expensive thing will be the impound fees for this to getting this out because it'll be up to 30 days okay and why is it so long so typically in order to get this uh, vehicle registered properly inspected and everything your license registration insurance all that get get inspected for it and issued um it can take a little while you know you can't just go to dmv right now and get this registered and get your proper licensing for it so it can take a little while so it can be up to 30 days for you to to get all that done okay huh. all right well now i think you know i've had some time to study and we got class one class mm -hmm. two class three uh and then i'm reading about some in some states there's a class four e-bike now can i ride this on dirt trails or private property or or where can I where can I ride this without getting in trouble? Yeah, technically this will be for off-road use, you know, okay. so private property, you know, depending on what the restrictions are, some private properties do have a sign when you enter that property, you know, the vehicle code does apply. So in that instance, this will not be allowed in there. Okay. But if you off-road, there's areas that, you know, you can take this where there's no restrictions. Um, okay. But definitely you can't use this on a bicycle path, you know, a trail path, hiking trail. Okay. These are going to be restricted from that area. Okay. I was just uh, hiking the other day and there was a lot of the, the e-mountain bikes and uh, there was a sign that said no e-bikes at all, but they were a lot quieter than this one is and, and they had pedals. So I think maybe they were flying under the radar a little bit, but it's, 
And it's hard to fly under the radar with something like this that looks like a full-on dirt bike um, on public roads. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, if if you are gonna ignore what the officer said today, I mean, I could say from personal experience, the uh, attitude test means a lot. Just be polite, and and if if you get slapped with an impound, then uh, just suck it up and and uh, you know pay the price for what you're doing. But uh, any last words of uh, uh, anything you can recommend here? Yeah, I mean, like you said, this is pretty new. You know, okay. uh, we're see we're starting to see a little bit more e-bikes. You know, our department has just uh, partnered with several other other um, people that are actually have better expertise in the e-bikes. You know, we kind of set those standards on okay. what's legal in the state of California. Um, you can get more information just going on chp.ca.gov. Our actual homepage has a section that'll take you through a tutorial and give you information on, on the laws, picking the right bicycle. It, with the, the right e-bike for you that kind of suits your needs, the, all okay. the safety issues that come with it, you know, what you need to do as a rider when you're sharing the roadways. But if you go on to our website, you can actually get a lot more information and kind of get a little more education on what you're allowed to do and which ones are e-bikes in the state of California as well. Okay, well, those are some thoughts. If you guys have questions, leave them in the comments. I'll reach out to Officer Martinez here. And I guess... The final thing I want to say is, is he's an officer of the California Highway Patrol. Check your local jurisdictions for any laws that apply. And uh, if you are going to ride, ride safely and don't get caught. Mm -hmm.